Come on. There. Oh. If someone comes in the dugout and tells you your 88 in eighth grade's flat, tell them to get in the box and see if they can hit it. They're sneezing that. So you gotta pop an 89 real quick, is that what you said? No, so I had to pop an eight real quick. I mean, I'll, I won't be opposed to that. What effort's that? Okay, I say it looks like, I mean, that looks smooth. Ready? Yep. Sure? Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's go fastball through his chest to start. You're staying loose, relaxed, right down through him. I'm out, that's, dude, that's just a start. I did not feel like that. with the shuffle with H2, and I felt like. It was 87 1. All right. You might as well keep going now. That's 87 right here again. Do it again. Get a little more leg lift. Stay smooth and go. You can't throw point four harder? Where's that at? Oh, oh, dude, come on. Hey, move fast, stay loose, and go get it. Go get it. Come on. Yes. That's better. Do it again. One more. All right, let's go, let's go change ups. Same intent right there. Oh my, do it again. I like that intent though, I like that shape. Good, really good. If I can locate those this summer. When you're throwing that, you're not thinking about turning it over or anything, right? No, okay. You said what? Just throwing it as hard as I can. Good. That's perfect. Do that again. Right down throw him. Okay. Take a second right here. Let me see your change up grip. You said what? Looks like I'm like right behind it. Please, like, you turn it a little bit, like almost like middle finger on this one seam. Okay, throw that again. It's like pencil lace almost. Yeah, you're, nothing's changing. Just literally just turning that ball a quarter inch. Just he yanked it. Go back to a fastball. Yeah, that a boy. Fastball again. Okay, let's go to the off speed. We're thinking the same thing, right? Like, you play quarterback. If you were gonna throw a football, you wanna throw a football like this, right? You're gonna be out here, okay? Find your grip, that grip you've been working on, and you're gonna keep thinking stiff wrist, and you're just thrown with a stiff wrist, hard. Pick a spot in his chest, that all-star logo, and you're trying to throw it hard and straight right through that logo, okay? Yeah, dude. Do the same thing. Now it's okay. So that if you, that was the logo, yeah. let's go his like left ear, or I'm sorry, like his left ear, our right, right over his shoulder. And you're throwing it hard right through there. Uh, what did we talk about last time, yesterday? When that happens, what does that usually mean? Stuff on the gas too early. Yeah, exactly. Hitting the gas too early. You're trying to make it nasty back here. We're still thinking fastball arm speed. We're making it gross out in front. Okay. So pick that spot. You're thinking right hard right through that spot. Better, better. You can still think like, you're still kind of getting like here slightly. I want this thing to be stiff. Like you're presetting this wrist and you're karate chopping him. Like if, I was, if you're gonna karate chop me right here, you wouldn't like turn your hand, right? You would just, boom, I want that same thing now with the pitch, okay? So get that wrist, that wrist stiff like that and you're keeping it like that and you're just throwing the heck out of it.
Good. There's the shape. The shape's good. Now he's got to take that focal point and start it there, okay? Don't change the body. Do it again. Body stays the same. It's just that grip changing, okay? Ah. Uh, let's go back to a fastball. Say lose right through him. Money. So how exactly does remote coaching work? You will have unlimited access to text and email your coach. Hop on weekly FaceTime calls and receive regular mechanical and training updates. Each day, your plan will detail exactly what to do from start to finish with instructional videos for every single throwing drill, mobility routine, and lifting exercise. Nobody's going to do the work for you, but we can show you the path to get there. It's your career. Ah! Let's get to work. Can you throw a two seam? Yeah. You ever throw a two seam? Okay, I wonder what that looks like. One more like that. Let's look at the slider grip. Instead of being, you're kind of like completely spiked right now. Yeah. Let's just go kind of finger just loosely on top as opposed to all the way touching your hand. I want this to be kind of loosely on top here. Okay. Same idea though, nothing's changing. We're just kind of taking some pressure off this inside of the ball and putting it up here. Okay. okay? Uh-oh, that was like a straight slider. Yeah, it had some lift. I want to try one more. I'm going to punch one that looks best. Now, instead of being here with it, I want you to go on the side of this horseshoe. Okay. And it's the same idea. And now we're just literally just thinking fastball. Okay, okay? like stiff wrist, we're just thinking fastball over here. So if your four seamer is like in this area, just gonna take it down into the side of your finger here. And you're just throwing it really hard. Let me see. Let me see. There you go. Ah. Uh, you said what? Find which one you feel, which one has all the nasty stuff in it? You tell me. Find the one with the gross stuff. <laughs> that's grody right there. Whatever one he feels most comfortable of those three, that's all we want. We're not trying to chase shape, we're just trying to chase some comfort. Something that's comfortable. All right, let's go five more. I want to run through the arsenal. Let's go to a fastball. Fastball? Yep. Good. Change up. Don't get excited up here. This is just along for the ride. We're letting this thing finish its course. And when this thing finishes the course, let the dogs out, all right? There. Oh. Oh. Can you do it twice? You can't do that again. Heck yeah, dude. You can't do that again. Do it again. Okay, we're done with those. There it is. There it is. Negative vert, that's what we wanted. It's disgusting. So don't get excited here. Now, go to the slider. Same thing, we're not getting excited here and we're throwing it hard late the exact same way you just did with that change up, okay? Stiff wrist, same thing. Don't get excited early. This is gonna come down to find that release point, like finding where you need to start it. Try to bury one. I want you to try to hit the plate, okay? Last slider here. Okay. Let's just go fastballs. Same attitude and mindset that we had on those change-ups. Okay. Not getting excited here. Yep. Letting that lower half run its course. And when it runs its course and that foot's down, go to work. Last one. Good. Thank you, sir. Dude, heck yeah. You're flicking these early on? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm starting to get a little tired of you. I'm gonna lose sleep over that. You couldn't go 0.4 harder for me there? Dude, I'm trying. That's an indoor PR though. But dude, phenomenal. Like with, with the change-ups, the big thing is like, these later, later on ones, when you just stay loose up here and you let the grip do the work out front, we're not trying to make it too dirty behind us. We're not trying to get excited, hit that gas pedal as soon as we're out of handbrake. When you just stay relaxed, let the body get into position, and then you hit that gas pedal, all of a sudden the stuff started to elevate, stuff-wise, and become tremendously better. Like three vert, the next one was negative. Yeah. Um, negative once you want, right? On a changeup? Yeah. Heck yeah. Like if you can consistently do that, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. The fastball shapes were a little different than what you usually do. Okay. But 
your eighth grade, I'm not too concerned about fastball shapes when you're throwing 88 miles an hour in eighth grade. So uh, if someone comes in the dugout and tells you your 88 in eighth grade's flat, tell them to piss off. Tell them to get in the box and see if they can hit it. So you feel good though? Cool. With the change up, oh, I'm sorry, with the slider, the big thing, you found the grip. The big thing for you now is like in catch play, shuffling, throwing it hard. Yeah. And when you get in that mound, it's like, okay, just keep finding a spot. Like, I'm gonna throw it through that spot. I'm gonna throw from point A to point B and let it break to point C. Don't try to make it and shape it to go to point C. Does that make sense a little bit? Just pick a spot, you're throwing it hard through that spot, letting the break do its thing. Okay. But awesome, I'm sure. fired up.